dressed like a hardworking daddy. I'm just trying to get memes on the table for my kids. Wearing my suit to work. <laughs> so a lot of you guys on Twitter have been saying that you guys have been wanting a video where I discuss genders and gender, gender stereotypes. So I decided to film a whole entire week of wearing men's clothing and I'm going to be talking about all my experiences and what happened with all of that and so on. Incredibly excited for this video, but first I have a giveaway. I'm trash for Hot Topic. They just need to sponsor me already. So I'm going to be giving away a Hot Topic gift card for $100. That's a lot of band t-shirts. I know you guys, my people. You guys are in so many fandoms. You're like, oh, okay, easy. That's an easy 20 t-shirts, 20 different fandoms I'm in. It'll be easy for you. <laughs> and all you have to do is follow on Instagram, at Jessie Page, and extra entries if you follow my trash. Cool. And I'm gonna do it the whole entire month. That makes me happy. I love to go broke for my people. I'm a hardworking dad. Let's see if we can get this to 40,000 likes. If you also believe that gender should be in our hands in 2018, whether it comes to pronouns or even just how you choose to dress. I personally shop in the men's section a lot and I've heard other girls say to other girls and guys say to other guys, like that's a boy outfit. Like, oh, I look like a boy in this. It looks so bad or I look like a girl. And it's 2018 and I believe that gender is an identity that you should be able to control. And that comes with everything. Your pronouns, even how you choose to dress. Like if you decide to, you know, use she, her, but you also want to just shop in the men's section and adopt masculine traits. I think that should be accepted. We stand. <laughs> in this household. All my videos in 2018 have had messaging and messages and this is one video I'm so incredibly proud of and I did this for you guys and honestly, authentically, I think there's so much to learn from this and I was able to learn and I'm just incredibly excited to show you all. Ah, anyone that struggles with their own just like identity and gender identity but especially just in relation to anything, whether it's you're not feeling comfortable with your name, pronouns, whatever it is, this is for you. Let's get started. So I shop in the men's section all of the time and I've had quite a few people be very rude about it. Even some very like feminine friends of mine just think it's a little weird or just praise me more when I wear dresses and so on. And I always thought that was to be curious. I'm going to an event tonight and actually as a response to this video, I decided I don't know why I bought a home phone because I don't even know the number for it. I decided to wear a suit, but I also decided to wear a pink suit. So it kind of intertwined with two very common gender stereotypes. So the first day I found myself going to the grocery store, I wore a t-shirt and shorts and the cargo shorts are probably the most masculine. I personally really enjoyed this video. I always had like crushes on the tomboys growing up. So it was like cool to dress like one of them. I always just like thought they were hot, especially in cartoons. Like I always thought like cartoon girl tomboys were like so attractive. So, <laughs> oops, <laughs> there's a confession. I felt like one of those. <laughs> so here's my first outfit. This is from Forever 21. We have some Vans. I just assume because Vans are pretty unisex this would work and then these pants that are like They were way too big on me, but they're from forever 21 and also a forever 21 men's t-shirt It has guns and roses on it And then I just have on my very thick black eyeliner because I would look dead without it I'm excited. I actually really like this outfit. I don't know. All right. We are going to the food store and then um, the outfit's kind of polarizing, but I didn't feel any different. I felt great. I felt pretty cool, and this is so comfortable, honestly. I would genuinely, I feel like, wear this. Also, it works for the weather super well. I don't know, it was super easy to put on. I, I'm feeling it. I don't know how other people are feeling yet. I can't totally feel that out, but I know I'm, I'm feeling this. Feeling myself, okay. <laughs> I guess the most exciting thing I've realized is that now I can play a pretty good Sharpay with my hair. That's the most exciting thing that's happened to me today. <laughs> you a hat and you're Ryan too. Wait, yeah. Mucho gusto. Muy caliente. And, and then I keep babalosa. Ah, 
Hey. Oh my god, sorry. Okay, I love that song. All right. First day, I didn't get too much of a reaction, a different reaction. I think it's because this outfit was an incredibly masculine, and also I wasn't around anyone that knew me. I was wearing this outfit, and it reminded me of Mike from Stranger Things because he tends to wear a lot of stripes. So I decided to go to a forest and do a cosplay shoot. I love Comic Con. I literally wife dressed up as Princess Bubblegum. Oh, I love Comic Con. So I decided to do a cosplay shoot and dress up as Mike from Stranger Things because I was wearing men's clothing. And um, it was really cool to play a boy, even though like I was born a female. I think it was really cool. And I don't know, to just pose more masculine and so on, it was really fascinating. Um, and I felt very confident and, and cool and accepted with, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh. Wait, should I start with? You Today I'm doing something very, very, very special with one of my favorite humans and take a guess from the music, the bike, the human, <laughs> the trail. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> How do I know this? Okay. Oh. Um, walk go. Yeah, walk forward and go behind a tree or something. Now jump in the ditch. I'm just kidding. Ah! <laughs> to go over to my friend Adeline's place and right when I walked in, legitimately right when I walked in, she was like, oh, and she definitely was confused because I don't normally dress like that and it was a very like loose, loose, loose fit and it was just a bit weird and I could tell she was trying to be polite but she also like wanted to ask like, whoa, Jessie, what's going on? So I'm currently just gonna wear my outfit around all day today. We're gonna see how it goes. I really feel comfortable and like happy in this outfit, so we'll have to see. The pants fall down a lot. <laughs> I'm about to go into Adeline's place and I'm gonna see if she reacts to my outfit. Hi, queen! <laughs> It's for a video. I'm wearing men's clothing for a week. <laughs> I can tell I, I, you never, Jesse never wears black and it's or so pants. weird. Or pants. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. It is but weird. But the bands are very you. Let's show our outfit of the days. We love. We love. I feel like normally it's like opposite. True. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah, you look like uh, my boyfriend. You look like I my do. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Let's do a prom pose. Wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Oh my god. So now I'm gonna have Mia react to my outfit. So what do you think of my outfit? Um... Hot. Daddy. Daddy? Daddy. <laughs> like skater boy. Yeah. Skater boy. Skater boy. She said see you later boy. Yeah. He wasn't good yeah. enough for her. I look like like if Kim Possible was even more of a tomboy. Ooh. You know, like, did you think I was like dressed differently, or were you like, oh, okay, it's more masculine? Were you like, like, caught off guard, or did this like, was it like, oh, like that's something Jesse would wear? I thought it was you. You normally wear like weird things. Yeah. But like, <laughs> you never, you never wear black. So I thought it was super weird. And you know, it, you it's kind me. of like you look kind of like baggy and like lazy. You know. Does my butt look good? <laughs> Pants are cool. Yeah, I like the pants. Imagine the pants with like a tank top. True. Or like That'd be cute. Fit. Yeah, more fit. More That'd be cute. Thanks we love. The next day, I wore the same outfit um, in true Jesse Page fashion. A true outfit repeater. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last day I decided to go in and see a ton of people that know me super well and 
I actually got a ton of compliments that they liked the new look. They're like, oh yeah, it's cool. Like you look a lot more edgy was the word, which I think is cool. I think edgy tends to be defined as something that's kind of like on the edge of what's expected. It's like, it's very almost risky with whatever maybe is normal in your life or normal, whatever's normalized in society. So I thought, that was a really cool word, and it just, it felt, felt right. So I'm about to go have some more people react to my outfit. So far this outfit's really comfortable. This is a shirt I bought, like, just for myself, like not even for the video. I just really like Mario, and I, I wanted it. My brother and I have the same t-shirt. So I decided to wear it, but this time with men's jeans that I thrifted. I love to thrift men's jeans, so like, this is an outfit I probably would wear, like, regardless of um, the video. And I'm wearing some bands, which can be unisex. And my hair is pink and blue, so we'll see. So far, I haven't gotten any super weird looks. It's just like this outfit makes me look a bit younger, I think. So I feel like I've had more like like ladies like smile at me, be like, oh, she's cute type of thing. But we'll have to see the reaction though. Hi everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. I kind of like this outfit. Really? Yeah. That you always tell I, me that when you see me. No, this is like edgy, cool, skater, dusty. <laughs> so I'm wearing men's clothing for a week, and I'm testing to see if people treat me any differently. Oh, that's classy. Honestly, I love this jean. Yeah. They're thrifted. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so overall, I definitely was treated differently, which was something I wasn't hoping to have to say, but it was really fascinating to see how I was treated differently. I thought it was just so crazy how within one day with me wearing all men's clothing, people noticed and it isn't always gonna be like a, a positive thing. And I thought it was incredibly interesting, this reaction. I was assuming that all my friends would just be like, oh, okay, especially because I tend to wear like just black skinny jeans and unisex hoodies. I tend to wear a lot of unisex clothing, like gender neutral clothes. So I thought this was really interesting. In the future, I would 100% do this again. First off, men's clothing is a lot more comfortable and I wonder why that is. So the comfort level was definitely a lot higher within the masculine clothing, which for me, I've been told multiple times I have the body of a 12 year old boy. So like, I don't need to wear tight clothing. <laughs> the compliments were definitely really cool and unexpected. They came from people that are very just comfortable within their own identities. And I think I look up to them a lot because they're very comfortable within their own identities and I think that could partially be why. They're just very used to girls wearing more masculine clothing, etc. And I think that's a beautiful thing. A point I'm gonna make, no one called me beautiful while I had masculine clothing. It was just, you look edgy or you look cool, which would have been cool. It would have been cool to have been called beautiful even though I was wearing clothing that wasn't hugging. I mean, the little bit of curve I have. Overall though, yes, I was treated differently, but I felt more comfortable and I felt so incredibly confident and happy. That's something I really felt. And it just like, I felt like I wasn't trapped within this need to wear a certain type of clothing and I just felt comfortable in the fact that I was wearing something that wasn't necessarily designed for me but I was doing it because I wanted to and I think that's a beautiful thing and it's just like I think there's a lot to be said about that fact even though other people maybe were treating me differently I still felt more confident even though I was getting more comments that would normally make me feel insecure I felt more confident just in knowing that I was wearing something that made me feel comfortable and I think there's so much to be said about that and that's that's almost like magical I mean if people were to make those comments to me and I wasn't wearing something unusual I would have felt so insecure but because I was wearing clothing that was deemed masculine and I just already felt comfortable because I was doing something so unique I was confident and also another thing to say is that male and female clothing they're not that different honestly and I think if you want to shop from one section if that's what you personally just identify with as a person or if you want to shop from both sections go for it. Do it because I felt so comfortable in knowing that, I don't know, there was just like an air of acceptance within my own mind. It just, I felt great. Essentially what I'm collecting from this video is I hope that you are able to feel that, that comfort and confidence that I got to feel this week and just know no matter who you are, you might ex have that criticism, but knowing that you're happy is what comes first. I think that's what's important. 
and I think that's there's so much to be said about that when it comes to identity. It's your own happiness that comes first over you know conceptions of what's normal for society, especially in relation to gender. I'm gonna feature my people. I love my people and your amazing accounts. I love your accounts like Jesse Page's daddy. Jesse Page snatched my wig. I love it. You guys all snatch my wig. My wig? I don't know where she is. She's all the way. Oh, she's all the way in 2012 Tumblr. What? There she is, right next to a Harry Styles GIF. I don't know what that was in. I love my people. I appreciate you all so much. This is for you. I'm so incredibly proud of the messages that my videos have been spreading, and I hope they're making you feel better too. And I will see you guys in the future. Wee! Let me satisfy your wants and desires.